Three men, three companies, and three crises. British Airways, Prudential, and BP are all under fire. You could basically call it a coincidence of misfortune. For more, we partner with the FT to bring you Lex on Bloomberg, giving you a sneak peek at the Financial Times' flagship column a day early. Richard Stoven Bradford joins me now live from London. And Richard, walk us through these three different crises. Yes, very briefly, uh, Tijan Tiam at the Prudential has just called off a $35.5 billion acquisition of AIG's Asian assets, and some shareholders are calling for his scalp. I, I hasten to say some, not all. Uh, British Airways' Willie, Willie Walsh is fighting a, a, a battle against cabin crew and their rather dysfunctional union called Unite, which is leading to uh, repeated strike action, which on top of the volcano ash is adding to his headaches. And then we've got a third crisis at BP, which is right on your doorstep, with the oil well leak in the Gulf of Mexico. And again, the CEO who's been thrust into the limelight by, by an unfortunate incident, but these things raise questions about did they do enough um, to introduce a safety culture at BP, for example. All right, but these CEOs were not acting on their own volition. Surely the boards of these companies backed them when they were appointed, and they did go into these actions with support, right? Absolutely. I mean, Tijan Tiam was, was uh, brought over first from uh, Aviva, another life ashore in the UK, and then was promoted from within Prudential to, to lead or continue its Asian expansion strategy. And he had the wholehearted support of his board on that. At British Airways, Willie Walsh was brought in because he'd been successful in turning around Aer Lingus, Ireland's airline, by cost cutting and, and severe retrenchment. And so British Airways hoped that he would really secure British Airways survival. And then again at BP, Tony Hayward, a long-term internal uh, time server, if you like, that's probably a bit rude, but I mean, he was, he was elevated to the top position to haul BP out of the aftermath of its Texas refinery disaster. So these are three people that are brought in to do specific jobs, but they're now facing three corporate crises and three very different adversaries. Well, given the scope of these crises, should the guys be told to leave, even if some shareholders are pushing for that? And it might not make the most sense, given that they're in the middle of the situation. Absolutely. I, I think it, 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 it may satisfy bloodlust to, to ditch these guys, um, but it doesn't really solve the problem. You need these guys to manage out of the problem. So very little purpose served in getting rid of them. However, what this is telling us is that um, institutional investors are reaching a limit to their risk appetite. Mm. They don't want British Airways to break the company, for example. They want BP to be more like Anglo-American and having better safety mechanisms and better ways of dealing with these crises. Okay. And Richard, I'm sorry, we need to leave it there. Thank you so much. Richard Stoven Bradford, live from London.